Hi, I'm teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Maths. We're looking at the specimen paper for paper 5, Probability and Statistics 1, for the 2020 exam series. This is question 1. We're given a stem and leaf diagram. In part A, we're asked to find the median and the quartiles of the females' salaries. We see that females is on the left of the diagram. That's where we'll be focusing. In the given information, we see we're working with 39 females. So to calculate the median, we want the middle female. Given that we have an odd number of females, then that's going to be one individual person. That will be number 20. From 1 to 19 gives us the first 19. From 21 to 39 gives us the last 19. The median person is number 20. So we'll go over and look at the female part of the stem and leaf diagram. The females are to the left of the central column, so we're going to count from right to left looking for female number 20. Now we have the row totals out to the left, so we don't need to count every individual item. The first row we see four females. The second row is nine females, and that puts us at 13. The third row is eight females. 13 in the first two rows plus 8 gets us to 21. So we're beyond the number that we're looking for. I'm going to start at the beginning, which again, since we're on the left side of the diagram, is the right, far right female in the third row. This is number 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Looking down at the key, we see that when we're looking at the central column of a number and we want to combine that with the number to the left, that 20 and 2 means $20,200 for females. In our case, 22 is the number in the central column with our number 7 means that the median is $22,700. Now the quartiles, we split our 39 into 19, the middle number of 20, or the median number of 20, and 19. So let's work with the 19 on the lower end to find our lower quartile. Then we'll work on the 19 on the upper end to find the upper quartile. Again, we're dealing with an odd number, so there's going to be one person that represents the lower quartile number. 19 we can group into 9 on the small end, 9 on the large end, 9 plus 9 is 18, leaving us with number 10 as the median number for our lower quartile. Again, looking over at the row totals for females, the first row is 4. The second row is 9, 4 plus 9 is 13, so the number 10 female is in the second row. We'll start counting after the 4 in the first row. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Using our key, we have the number 21 in the center column, matched with 7 for person number 10, means 21,000. $700. So this is our lower quartile number. For the upper quartile, we'll use the same methodology. We're working with the upper 19. Now what we're looking for is we're going to break the upper 19 into starting from 21 and going to 39. We'll split these into 21 to 29. This is 9 females. 31 to 39 is 9 females. The number that we're looking for is number 30. So going to our female side, the left side, we'll work backwards. And I'm simply going to count those out quickly, knowing that my last female is 39. And I'm going in the opposite direction to count from high to low. I'm working left to right. So we have... 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, and 30. 
central row number 24 with the number 0 means 24,000 0 or $24,000 as the upper quartile. This completes requirements for Part A. Let's move on to Part B. Part B reads, draw a pair of box and whisker plots in a single diagram on the grid below to represent the data. I'm going to start with a scale. I can see that the range of salaries in the top row of 20,000 plus, the low end is 20,000. There's a low end for female of 20,000. And in the bottom row, 26,000 plus, the high end is 600, 26,600. So I'll set a scale going from 20,000 to 27,000. Now I've created my scale. Each of the individual vertical lines represents 1,000. Notice that I've written in in evens, 20,000, 22,000, etc. With the scale at the top, it'll be clear where my precise values are in the two box and whisker plots I'll prepare, one for females, one for males. We'll start with females. We already have that data. We need the low and the high numbers. Those are going to be the two ends of the whiskers. Looking up in the data, we can see that the low female salary is 20,000. The high female salary is 26,500. Those will be my, my two whisker ends. From question A, we have identified the median as 22,700. Q1 is 21,700, Q3 is 24,000. So I'm going to use those five data points and create my box and whisker plot for females. Here's our box and whisker plot for females. The low end is at 20,000. That's the lowest female salary. The high end is at 26,500, the highest female salary. And I have dots there to show the end of my two whiskers. The whiskers go to the, the low end goes to Q1. Q1, as we calculated in A, is 21,700. There's where I start my box. The box continues with the vertical line at the median. Median is 22,700. Continuing to Q3, which is 24,000. And then the high end whisker extends from Q3 out to the dot where I've plotted the high female salary of 26,500. Now I'll go through the same process for males. Here's my box and whisker plot for males. Referring back to the data, I counted to the tenth male from the beginning, from the low end, to find my first quartile of 22,600. From the high end, I counted down to the tenth male from the high end for the third quartile of 25,300. The median male, male number 20, is 24,000. So those are Q1, median, and Q3 in the box. And the whiskers are at the low end 20,300 and at the high end 26,600. And this completes the requirements for 9709 Specimen Paper 5, Question 1.